Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to today's show. Now, today I want to take a look at the coronavirus situation in Brazil because things are rapidly moving there, changing really quickly. And uh, you can see in this BBC headline, coronavirus, Brazil records third highest COVID-19 infection level. And yes, uh, Brazil became the country with the third highest number of cases. Um, Only the U.S. and Russia have recorded more. But this report does say something interesting. It says experts say insufficient testing might mean that the real figure in Brazil could be 15 times higher. So kind of big news. Brazil leapfrogged several of the European countries in recent uh, days, and now they are number three in the world. So let's take a look at the Johns Hopkins map, and we can see that only the U.S. and Russia are above Brazil, who... Um, went ahead of the United Kingdom uh, today. So 257,396, according to that. And this is from the Ministry of Health in Brazil, though it does, the syntax did translate it as Ministry of Cheers. And it says more than 100,000 Brazilians are already recovered from COVID-19. And that's how they start the article. It says, good news to start the week. On Monday, the 18th, Brazil surpassed the mark of 100,000 people recovered from COVID-19, which represents about four out of every 10 confirmed cases so far. Um, and then there's another 137,000 or so people that are being followed, followed up and monitoring um, their situation. So far, there's been just about um, 17,000 fatalities and there's a lot of um, cases that are still under investigation, so that number is sure to um, increase also. So th- here are the official numbers, right? According to the Brazil Ministry of Health, as of the 18th, 254,220, 16,792 deaths. So a, a case fatality of about 6.5%. So let's go ahead and take a look at this report from CNN that tells us that Brazil is having a lot of trouble. And I and I did call this very early on in, in the pandemic that this is one of the countries we need to keep an eye out for just because of all the slums and the favelas and the crowds and, and the poverty. And um, it says, as hospitals in Brazil teeter on the brink of collapse, Bolsonaro, who is the president of Brazil, does push-ups with supporters. So a lot of the media doesn't like Bolsonaro, and you're going to see that um, in some for very good reason. The healthcare system in Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo, is wavering on the brink of collapse, and coronavirus deaths through the South American nation are soaring. But President Jair Bolsonaro nonetheless reveled in crowds of supporters on Sunday. Um, joining an anti-lockdown protest in Brasilia, the capital. Uh, With Brazil still approaching its peak in cases, Sao Paulo's mayor warned that the health system could be overwhelmed very soon if residents don't follow social distancing guidelines. Quote, the city is coming to the limits of options, said Bruno Cobas, warning that 9 in 10 intensive care beds were full. Uh, We need to decide if we want to test the limits or if we want to be prudent and firmly maintain social isolation for the time needed so that the health system doesn't collapse. We are closer than we would like. But they're saying that out of the offices of the president in Brasilia, Bolsonaro doesn't seem that concerned about it. Um, It says the populist leader who has frequently dismissed the threat posed by COVID-19 even as it began to ravage his own nation, disregarded social distancing guidelines to pose with supporters. And him going out to these different uh, rallies and stuff has become a regular thing. And in this article from The Lancet, um, this is from the 9th. So this is a little over a week ago. Um, The title's... COVID-19 in Brazil. So what? Question mark. And the reason they put that in is um, it says large cities such as Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro are the main hotspots 
now, but there are concerns and early signs that infections are moving inland into smaller cities with inadequate provisions for intensive care beds and ventilators. So this is nine days ago, and we are starting to see that according to that CNN report. But they say perhaps the biggest threat to Brazil's COVID response is its president, Jair Bolsonaro. When asked by journalists last week, so this is earlier in May, about the rapidly increasing numbers of COVID-19 cases, he responded, so what? What do you want me to do? He not only continues to sow confusion by openly flaunting and discouraging the sensible measures by physical distancing and lockdown brought in by the state governors and city mayors, but he has also lost two important and influential ministers in the past three weeks. First, it was Luis Enrique Mandetta, the respected and well-liked health minister. He was fired after a television interview where he criticized Bolsonaro's actions and called for unity. And then on April 24th, following the removal of the head of Brazil's federal police by Bolsonaro, Justice Minister Sergio Moro, one of the most powerful figures of the right-wing government and appointed by Bolsonaro to combat, to combat corruption, announced his resignation. So there's a lot of disarray going on in the Brazil government, but that's not the end of it. And just on Friday, we reported on the website outbreaknewstoday.com that um, the latest health minister, Nelson Teich, Tech, um, he resigned, and he was only on the job for just short of a month, I believe. So it's here in this Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera report, he said, Brazilian health minister Nelson Teich resigned on Friday after just weeks on the job, adding to turmoil in President Jair Bolsonaro's handling of the accelerating coronavirus outbreak in one of the world's worst hotspots. Tyke, whom Bolsonaro had criticized as being too timid in the push to reopen the economy and advocate the use of anti-malarial drugs to fight the virus, said he had decided to resign from his position. During a news conference on Friday, Tyke thanked Bolsonaro for offering him the opportunity to work as a health minister and said he had given it his best but gave no reason why he was leaving the position. So that's two health ministers in less than a month that are gone. One was fired and Tyke left on his own under, you know, probably strained relations and uh, policy differences with the president. But we, see, we do see all this negative stuff being written about Bolsonaro, often um, compared to, often called the Brazilian Trump. Um, he does get some praise. I want to take a look at that real quick. Here, and here we go. Um, from this Daily Telegraph out of Australia, praise for Brazil's embattled Bolsonaro. It says Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro has greeted hundreds of supporters who gathered before the presidential offices to back his open the economy drive even as the coronavirus pandemic sweeps across the country. Demonstrators in Brasilia and Sao Paulo defied local stay-at-home orders to join the pro-Bolsonaro rallies at a time when the president is facing increasing pressure over his handling of the pandemic. Quote, we hope to be free of this question soon for the good of all of us, Bolsonaro told the crowd in Brasilia on Sunday. Brazil will come back stronger. Uh, Bolsonaro invited a group of about 20 paratroopers who were taking part of the protest to join him on the stoop of the presidential office. Um, supporters have gathered daily at the presidential residence with larger crowds turning out on weekends. So there's a, so he has a lot of support apparently through certain segments of the population in Brazil. But clearly the, the takeaway message here is Brazil um, though it has some wealth, it also has a lot of poverty and a lot of crowding. And it apparently, it's, they're not doing a great job of enforcing social distancing or even encouraging. And so people, the numbers are, continue to grow there. They're growing pretty fast, now becoming the th third highest country in the world. Um, and there's a lot of criticism of the president and his efforts or lack of efforts in taking care of this COVID uh, pandemic in the country. Anyway, so what do you think? 
is Brazil on on a on a bad trajectory? Is things going to get a lot worse there? Is Bolsonaro doing the right thing by encouraging let's open up the economy and and um, you know it's COVID nineteen? You know, so what? What do you think? I'd like to hear more what you got to say. Comment below. Let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel, and please share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time on the show.